Hi, Melinda. How are you doing? Thank you so much for including your work in your written rationale. And let's jump over to your written rationale. Now, I, you know, I keep seeing you say this over and over is that you can't draw, but you can draw. I mean, these are great. I, I really think they are. I mean, I think that your sketching abilities are on par with anyone in the class. Look, here's the thing. Now, we, we're not looking for the next great sketch artist. We're not looking for the next great, you know, the next Rembrandt of the sketch world. We're just looking for a way for you to be able to express your ideas visually and quickly in a way that, that can be shared, um, you know, quickly and a way that can be for you to be able to think and to, to transpose your thoughts onto paper quickly. That's all we're looking for. So, so I think you're selling yourself short with all of this talk about I can't sketch and I can't, I can't sketch word marks and, 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 um, uh, uh, monograms, etc. You can, and you are. You're doing a great job. Okay, so I, let's jump over to your um, written rationale. And the first thing I want to mention is that you, you know, you, you, you've got your everything makes sense, and you, you're good. It's good that you've you've kind of boiled down your company's mission to these two words: warm and caring. And I think for a wellness center, absolutely, warm and caring are two huge considerations. And I think that to, like I said, as, as I said, to boil it down, so we're kind of stepping away from the word list for this assignment and kind of taking an all-encompassing approach and, and, and coding from there. So to boil it down to warm and caring, I think is very, very smart. Now, to continue on that vein, I also think the way that your visual solutions, some of them are very smart in terms of warm and caring, I think this is great. Um, this, and let me explain a little bit. Um, <clears throat> okay, if we take a look at this right here, do we see warm and caring? No, we don't. We see, two, we, we almost see something that would be considered um, comical or lighthearted. Okay, this almost looks like it could be a very lighthearted GMWC or G, uh, GMWC. And, and so is this warm and caring? Maybe not so much as, or is this one warm and caring? You've got a, a, a serif mixed with a sans and, uh, or it goes a sans serif sketches of the G, GMWC. And basically they're, look like they could be block letters that were selected just from your, your uh, font collection. Okay. Is that warm and caring? To me, no, it's not. But we come down here, and this looks more like it's hand rendered. It looks like there's more care in the way that you have structured this and assembled the letters in such a meaningful way that it does emulate warm and caring. If the logo isn't warm and caring, how can, or if the word mark isn't warm and caring, then how can the company or the client try to put forth that perception on themselves as warm and caring if the mark isn't warm and caring. Hope that makes sense. I think it is warm and caring. I, I'm not real sure how you intend on, to, on, on, on moving forward with this, but I do want to mention a couple of things. Okay, I think that's your answer right there. I think it's more warm and caring than this and than this. Um, for this reason, I would recommend moving forward with this or one of the other kind of hand-scripted um, GMWC. I think definitely, though, this is the strongest, number 12. So I think you did a good job recognizing that. I think you did a good job selecting that and showing potential from there. Um, I do want to make a couple of recommendations as far as how are you going to move forward. So what you can do, you can do one of two things. You can sketch this. You can take this right into Illustrator. And let me just show you something. I'm going to go over to our course announcements. And let's just go of course home and we'll see the course announcements. And this week's I have three announcements as, as I did last week for week three. Again, three announcements for week four, two, two, two tutorials and then one uh, milestone one video. Uh, welcome to, I'm sorry, welcome to milestone four video. The reason I want to bring these up is because there's there's these two um, videos that I've explained this in the, in the welcome video, but I, I've left these two different tutorials. One is basically how to create uh, monogram right in Illustrator, okay? And and that would entail selecting pre-existing typefaces and assembling them as such, okay? Another approach would be to actually sketch what you're looking at, you know, sketch it out, scan it, 
bring it into Illustrator and to vectorize it from there. In other words, go over it with your pen tool and create the letters as such. And I think that might be a more interesting approach for you. So again, that's the first announcement here. Uh, sketch a monogram and finish an illustrator. So you want to take a look at that. There's a video in there and everything. So you can really try to try to uh, get this workflow down so you can bring this sketch into Illustrator and try to get that sketched out as, 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 as um, expeditiously as possible. Um, if you run into problems, let me know. I'll be glad to help you out. You know, and again, as I said, you don't have to do that. Your other option is to go ahead and find letter forms um, and quite often you can, if you don't have them in your personal font collection, feel free to go out to some of the free font sites and find letters that might accommodate the needs of, of this sketch or the physical attributes, uh, visual attributes of, of what you have assembled here in the sketch. Okay. And again, uh, great job. I, I, I really think you're, you're really starting to understand. You're, you're getting it, Melinda. You're getting it. And that's the important thing. You're getting a good understanding of the meaning behind what you're drawing. And that's fantastic. And to me, that's the objective of the class. So you're showing a great propensity to learning and to adhering to the objectives and the intended outcomes of the class. So great job there. One thing I want to say in closing is stop selling yourself short, Melinda. You're doing wonderful work. You're doing wonderful work. So, so just... Let's get you the confidence you need. Let's stop stop saying you can't do it. You can't do it because you can do it and you are doing it and you're doing it very well. Okay. All right. Any questions, comments, concerns, or if I can clarify anything at all, please let me know. All right. Great job. Thanks, Melinda.